First of all, I've got two angles. All the angles add up to 180. So we just have to figure out what is missing here to make it add up to 180. So that's 51 degrees. And that's exact. We didn't have to do any rounding. That answer is exact. Now, if you want to find something, this is going to be our hypotenuse. I'll label that right away. This would be little g, and this would be little j. Those are the two things left we have to find. Which angle would you like to use, the 39 or the 51? 51. Sure. 51. Let's use the 51. Which, which one do you want to find first, g or j? g. So if we're finding g and I'm using 51, then I want to find the hypotenuse, and the 9 is the adjacent. So then I would set up cos of 51 degrees adjacent over hypotenuse. Multiply both sides by g and divide by cos of 51 all in one step. This would be this part where those things just switch. 9 over cos of 51 degrees. Go to your calculator. 9 divided by cos of 51. And you get the same answer than, that someone else would have got, 14.3. Did anybody use the 39 and sign? Okay. So if you would have done 39 and sine, you got 9 divided by sine 39. And you get 14.3 that way too. So either way, we get G is approximately 14.3. I'll label that right there. Yes, Tasha. Okay, we'll, we'll do that next, okay, because we found G first. Now, we still have to find J. If I wanted to find J, and I, I would use 51 as well, and then this is the opposite side, and this is the adjacent. So then I would go to tan. Tan of 51 is equal to opposite J over adjacent 9. And here, 51 is better. Than, uh, than the 39 because the j is on the top, which means the math is a little bit easier to get j by itself. We just have to multiply both sides by 9. And 9 tan 51 is 11.1. Now, what you choose Maybe you chose a sine instead of tan. Maybe you chose cos instead of, maybe you did a squared plus b squared equals c squared in the end. There's more than one way. But all the ways that you choose will always give you these answers the same. Again, we're done. I'm going to circle all the answers that we found to show that I've solved for everything. It's also good to label everything on the graph in the end so that you know you solved the entire triangle, that everything is done.